It's big dog season. And you can't stay still because you want it. Mm-hmm. Talk that talk, George. You still scraping your plate because you're hungry. Mm-hmm. Talk that talk. Today is Sunday, October the 6th, the year is 2024. I'm sitting in my kitchen. It's about 80 degrees outside, so I had to turn that air conditioning back on today. You know, this, I thought we were going to be in cooler weather. And I need to get a broom and go around this house. It's spider webs everywhere. The house outside of this house is like a, sp a spooky Halloween movie. Short video. Because I'm right in the middle of cooking breakfast and I got to take these pain pills. So, as you all know, I had my cortisone shot in my hip. The first day was great. The first day they did their shot that evening was great. I put up Halloween decorations, decorations cleaned up the house, ran around, did a bunch of stuff. Everything was perfect. Not so great the next day. So now we're on day three. The problem is the injection site is very uncomfortable with it, which went in and did the injection. Um, you know, like I say it takes a few days for it. Hope I, I hope that this cortisone shot um, helps to alleviate the inflammation. And I got some other medicine I'm gonna take, but I gotta take it with food. So I'm gonna make some cream of wheat, and I was boiling some eggs. It's a little light breakfast. So I can take that medicine. And then I need to go, and I got a bunch of shit I need to do before I had the surgery on Wednesday. So I need to get my ass up to that. But anyway, I have always been perplexed by black people voting for Donald Trump. In my head, it's almost like a Jew, a Jew voting for Hitler or a black person voting for the KKK. While Donald Trump himself has questionable, very, very questionable morals and values, especially by his race, his, his concept of race relationships, there is no doubt in my mind that the people who vote for him, his, his loyal followers, I know what's going on in their heads. And so I can even imagine going to a first off I'm not I wouldn't be at a Trump rally any damn way for what but you, you're a black person you go to, to a Trump rally and all the Trump gear and get your ass whooped what are y'all fighting over what is what's going on here your black ass shouldn't be there is what's going on here all these black folks that I have met that are Trump supporters are ignorant as hell I have yet met a Trump supporter who could logically tell me why they support that food. Every black person I've met is ignorant as hell. They come up with all kind of most ignorant shit, and they all, none of them watch. None of them. So I always say, well, what about all the people who work for Trump, who work in the administration, and all the people, all these people, all these Republicans, and they don't want to hear nothing about that. You'd have to be pretty cuckoo patty crazy to be voting for Donald Trump. And if you're black voting for Trump, you're really insane. So, I'm not surprised at all of Trump support got his ass whooped. And this wasn't the first time something like this has happened. At one of those rallies. 
You know, they get into a misunderstanding. What could have happened between these guys that they got into a fist fight and they all voting for the same man they all in Trump um, clothes? Yeah, here's another thing. I haven't seen Biden have hats and clothes and shoes and all this shit and Biden or Harris and all this. What's up, what's up with this Trump clothing line? What, what is it? This goes to show you how sick in the head than people are who vote for Trump. I can't wait for this election to be over so Trump can go his ass on the federal prison where he deserved to be. It'd be nice to get him on out the way. Lose election and go ahead and finish finish locking that ignorant motherfucker up and go after some more of them damn Trump supporters that was up there in that White House on that Capitol on January 6th and lock the rest of them up. Well, you, every black person I met who support Trump is crazy as hell. I haven't met a single one yet that could logically tell me a good reason why they support Trump. It's always some ignorant ass bullshit. And it's like, it's like they don't even know who this crazy man is. You at least might want to get to know who you, the crazy man you're voting for. Yeah, but they don't, they, they crazy as hell. But back to my leg for a minute. Yeah, it's not, that my hip, not great today. So I'm going to take these pain pills. I had to get up and move around this damn house and take the dogs out and clean their cages. Set their food up and said, I ain't get to, I got a bunch of stuff I need to do today. Because I have to have a sneak suspicion after I have this surgery on my soldier's shoulder, I'm going to be kind of out of, un, 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 unable to do things for myself. And I really don't have nobody to help me do shit over here. I wish I could think of who could I call. I don't know. Let's figure something out. That's the sad part about it. Everybody called me for help. And when it comes to me trying to find somebody to help me, I couldn't even tell you who I could call. I'm serious. I'm like, okay, can I call this person? This person don't have a car. They don't have transportation. They don't have this. They don't have that. They don't have that. It's just so many, you know. My nephews ain't about a hill of damn beans. They do shit with their asses. So... Anyway, like I said, it's going to be a short video because I gotta, I'm going to have to eat this food in a minute. I'm just making some cream of wheat. I got a banana over there. I got some um, eggs. I boiled some eggs. Just something on my stomach so I can take this medicine. And then um, I'm run up out of here. I got to go by Walmart and some other places and do something. So I'm drinking this coffee. It's hot in here. Life goes on. He's limping or not. He's got to keep going. Hopefully, these pain pills. Okay, I should have bended. Took these pain pills. It's already twelve noon. I should have got up this morning and got and ate a bowl of cereal and then took these pills. Nothing I can do. Yep, but this election is getting closer and closer and closer. So hopefully, um, when this is done and over, they can. Get, get Trump where he need to be. It is so bizarre to me, these people who support Trump, they're the most, it just, I don't even know what to say no more at this point. You know, it's just very strange. But anyway, short video, I want to do, as like I said, to me, if you're black voting for Trump, it's almost like a Jew voting for Hitler or a black person voting for the Ku Klux Klan. Uh, Trump himself presents a lot, has some serious issues, but his the people who the white folks that love Trump, they're the ones. They present a serious issue. All them people who were at that White House on January 6th, running through that White House, um, running through that Capitol, rather, all them crazy people, it's a whole bunch of them. These people are insane. They are insane. People that I, I, I find that everybody I have met, personally met, who was a Trump supporter, these people border on insanity. So, figure that one out. But enough of Donald Trump and his foolishness. Prayfully, he will be gone and we don't have to deal with his ass no more. We'll see. Today is Sunday, October 6th, the year is 2000. In 24, like I said, show the video. I got to take these pain pills. I need to eat something. I got to whip up the cream of reap cream of wheat real quick and then I'm gonna eat that and I'm gonna eat a simple carb to take this medicine with. Anyway, I look forward to you all's comments and tell me what you think about 
that black men get his ass toe up at that Trump rally. It was a very interesting video. I don't know what could have happened, but I don't know. I have not seen any bat fights going on at a Harris Waltz, you know, Harris um, the convention or a rally. I don't go to political rallies. I can watch this shit on TV. One thing you won't ever catch me at is at a political rally. I don't give a fuck who it is. It's be Jesus Christ. I say, okay, he on TV. And then I just stare at him. Okay, I'm, I'm not in there. I, I'm, I like politics, but not that much, honey. I'm not about to get in my car, go down there, park no car, walk through and get in line. And go, see, I'm here to see Harris. I'm Biden. I don't go, um, I'll go vote for them in that voting booth. That's about it. But as for a political rally, never. Mm-mm. Unless I'm running for president, then I'll be there. Probably by Zoom, because I know you motherfuckers crazy. You know, catch me up on my damn. And you're going to be thinking, Walter Hampton's here. Yeah, big old screen will pop up out of the ground. Be sitting right here in my kitchen. So I'm waving to y'all. I ain't stupid. You know, you motherfuckers crazy as hell. Mm-mm. I wouldn't even be at my own political rally. But anyway, I'm out of here. Sunday, October 60th, 2024. I'm out. I'll speak to y'all later.